Hi everyone, assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon. My name is Azrina and I'm one of the content specialists from Arus Education and I'm also your MC for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to our cozy launch of the Global Citizenship Education Project at Delima. Brought to you by Ministry of Education in partnership with UNICEF Malaysia and Arus Education. How's everyone doing? Do say hello in the chat and let us know where you're from and what school you're teaching at. We would love to get to know you. For the teachers tuning in to this cozy launch, stay till the end of today's session because we will be sending some giveaways to a few lucky teachers. So make sure you stay till the end. Today in this cozy launch, we just want to share with you about GSET. If you've heard of GSET, drop a comment in the chat section to share where you've heard it from and share if you've tried GSET yourself. And for those of you who might have never heard of GSET, it actually stands for Global Citizenship Education. And today's Cozy Launch will aim to shed a bit more light on the approach and how using GSET, we can make our children become more aware of the interconnectedness of our world and help them find meaning in what they learn in school. So to launch today's session, let's hear the opening remarks from our Director General of Education, Dr. Habiba Abdurrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good day to everyone. First and foremost, I would like to welcome everyone to the COSI launch of Global Citizenship Education Project at Dalima. This COSI launch is important for the Ministry of Education to set the stage for everyone to share creative and innovative ideas to realize the transformative vision and values of GSET. Children today live in an interconnected and pluralistic society. Digital pervasiveness, environmental forces and demographic changes are shaping our children's lives. This complex environment is challenging but at the same time also provides opportunities for all of us to review our existing practices. It is therefore important for our children today to learn to participate in a more interconnected world and at the same time celebrate and appreciate cultural differences so that they become more understanding and empathetic to the various needs of society. Against this backdrop of an increasingly globalized and interconnected world and amidst the calls for education to promote peace, well-being, prosperity and sustainability, interest in promoting global citizenship education or GSET has been growing and has become a key education target for all countries. Global citizenship is a 21st century approach to living to address global challenges based on the principles of global responsibility and accountability applied in everyday local actions and contexts. First, global citizenship education is about equipping learners with the appropriate skills to live together in this interconnected and dynamic world of the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, following the launch of the project by UNESCO Bangkok on preparing teachers for global citizenship education aimed to facilitate educators to embed GSET into the curriculum, Malaysia had taken the initiative to carry out a pilot project on global citizenship education. This pilot project is a collaborative effort between the Ministry of Education and UNICEF in partnership with Arus Education, where we developed lesson plans that embedded elements of GSET in four subjects, mathematics, science, geography, and history. These lessons are available online in the Dilemma portal. I would like to encourage teachers to take advantage of the lesson plans available. The lessons have been piloted and revised and they are aligned with the secondary school standard curriculum KSSM with additional values where learning topics and objectives of global citizenship are embedded in these lessons. What is more interesting the lessons are carried out through project-based approaches to engage students on global issues and to provide students the opportunity to reflect upon and react to these issues. 
but most importantly, the lessons will allow students to connect the dots between what they learn in the classroom with issues and challenges within the local and global context. Global citizenship education has been frequently presented as a pedagogical answer to respond to the challenges of globalization. GSET is not a subject, it is a movement intended to be transformative, which requires the school to provide the support to create the environment and experiences to critically examine global challenges and at the same time appreciate the diversities in this globalized society. Therefore, the role of teachers is very important so that attributes of learners with values, soft skills and attitudes for social transformation are effectively translated into the teaching and learning processes. For today's launch, we have invited teachers who have been part of this movement to provide their experiences in embedding GSEC in their teaching and learning. It is my hope that these teachers will be made will be able to convince you that GSET elements in the teaching and learning process will allow students to shape their thoughts to be responsible towards sustainability and collective well-being. In fact, your lessons will become more interesting and meaningful as you will witness for yourself in the videos we have prepared for you. Ladies and gentlemen, history has shown us that human beings have always formed communities based on shared identity. This shared identity has been forged to respond to economic, social and political needs. The forces of globalization have made GSET more relevant to prepare our children to be part of the emerging world community so that the world will become sustainable, peaceful and safe. I wish all of you an engaging discussion. Thank you. Salah satu masalah global yang saya tahu ialah masalah pembaziran makanan. Apabila berlaku pembaziran makanan, ia akan berkesan kepada sumber air, tanah, udara dan juga perikatan pagodak sedap. Itu dah masalah global yang sedang kita hadapi sekarang ialah wabak COVID-19 dan kemiskinan kerana apabila wabak itu melanda dunia boleh katakan hampir semua orang terjejas daripada segi ekonomi, pendapatan kerana ramai yang kehilangan kerja Pada pendapat saya, untuk mencapai keamanan dunia kita mesti dah berkumpul dengan tentang budaya masyarakat lain Apabila kita mempelajari tentang budaya masyarakat lain kita akan dapat tahu bahawa we live in a globalized world. With the world getting more interdependent and interconnected, we need each other more than ever before to fight poverty, hunger, inequalities, pollution, climate change. We need to think and act beyond our national borders. And global citizenship education can help us do that. Global Citizenship Education, or GSET, help us learn how to live together in peace. GSET nurtures empathy and respect for others. It instills a sense of belonging to humanity. GSET helps our children to think critically and understand the interconnectedness between local and global issues. GSET motivates our children to play an active role in solving global challenges and contribute towards building a more just, peaceful, tolerant, and sustainable world. GSET can be delivered in and outside of the classroom. GSET can be integrated across curriculums in any subject. Today, Students and teachers can access examples of project-based lessons on four subjects on the Lima. These projects are for Form 1, Geography, Mathematics, History, and Science. Students can explore important concepts from each of these subjects through real-life issues like climate change, the COVID-19 pandemic, 
access to quality education and environmental pollution. Activities online are interactive and students will be able to have an immersive and meaningful learning experience with the GSET projects. We can all be global citizens. Start your GSET lessons today. Thank you so much, Dr. Habiba, for launching the GSET projects at Delima. As was mentioned, this GSET project is a tripartite collaboration between Ministry of Education Malaysia, UNICEF Malaysia, and Arus Education. The GSET projects are now available on the Delima portal at arus.cc slash GSET project. The projects available are at the moment are in four subjects, namely mathematics, science, geography, and history for Form 1. The projects are also available in both English and BM, so do check them out and try it out yourself. So students and teachers can go through the project together in the classroom or remotely. Students can also go through it independently if they choose to and explore all of the interactive features within the project itself. If you are a teacher or a student who is excited to explore the projects available, do give us an emoji in the chat. We would love to hear from you. All right, next are introductory remarks from Dr. Rashid Mustafa, UNICEF representative in Malaysia, and Dr. Haja Rosia, Director of Educational Planning and Research Division of MOE. So let's hear it from Dr. Rashid and Dr. Haja. We live in a challenging and interconnected world. We need everyone, especially the young people and adolescents, to take part in building a more sustainable and peaceful world. While some parts of the world went ahead in technological advancement, human rights violations still exist. Inequality and poverty remains a real threat to peace and sustainability in the world. This is where the Global Citizenship Education or GCED comes in. GCED aims in instill in learners the values, attitudes and behaviors that support responsible global citizenship such as creativity, innovation, and commitment to peace, human rights, and sustainable development. GCED helps young people to understand issues and how everything is connected. In response to the call to action, together with Ministry of Education Malaysia, UNICEF supported the DELIMA platform providing project-based lessons and example lessons plan for both students and teachers to explore. It is based on the three domain of learning, cognitive, socio-emotional, and behavioral. On the platform, students learn through videos, discussions, and interactive activities with different themes. For example, they learn about climate change, gender inequality, and building sustainable cities, to name a few. The lessons are designed to inspire them to solve the world's most pressing problems today. GCED supports target 4.7 of the Sustainable Development Goals that Malaysia is committed to achieve by 2030. To ensure all learners acquire knowledge and skills needed to promote sustainable development goals. This year, we are we at the UNICEF celebrating 75th anniversary with the call to reimagine a better world for children. We are including children in our efforts, reimagining the better world together with us through global citizenship education. Thanks to Ministry of Education Malaysia for the, this initiative and sharing the vision with us and providing the opportunity to work together. Terimakasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good day to everyone. 
I am pleased to be here today as part of this cozy launch of Global Citizenship Education Project at Delima. The purpose of this launch is to showcase and share efforts initiated by MOE and teachers to advocate global citizenship education, in other words, GSET. The GSET's project at Delima was initiated to embed elements of GSET in teaching and learning. In doing so, MOE, in collaboration with UNICEF Malaysia and its partners, Rose Education, went through a series of discussions and processes to appropriately integrate GSET's element into the existing teaching and learning processes in a meaningful manner without disrupting the learning environment in the classroom. Making close reference to the UNESCO publication, Preparing Teachers for Global Citizenship Education, the Project-Based Learning, PBL, approach was chosen by MOE because it's an action-oriented, student-centered, and allows coverage in the broad spectrum of issues. PBL allows students in space to work collaboratively and reflective on issues but most importantly, it allows students to venture beyond their four walls of the classroom. I would like to encourage teachers to log in the LIMAS platform and to take your class through the GSET lessons that we have prepared to provide your students the opportunity to understand real world challenges and make the connection between what they learn in the classroom and its relevance and applicability to global development and challenges. Thank you. To all the leaders, we know we are young, but please hear what we are about to say. We want a better future. We want you to hear our rights. So important that we have young people understanding what their rights are so that you can protect your rights. And who's going to fight for your rights if it's not you? Who here loves to play board games? Yeah? So you guys have to show me how well you played together. The Guardians of the Children is a board game that allows students to role play as duty bearers to explore the rights they have as children. When we designed Guardians of the Children, we wanted to see how children negotiate, discuss, it's three minutes enough to discuss, and strategize with each other to ensure their rights are upheld. You have also provided education for 15 children. Yes, we share. It is important that, you know, where there's an opportunity for us to get children to be advocates for their own concerns and issues, especially when we are talking about the future. Um, every children have rights. And um, because of that, they are called right holders. We as adults, we are called duty bearers. Um, but that doesn't mean we as adults are the only people that actually can help the children get their rights. We allow for students to reflect on the rights that they see are taken away from them or other children in real life. We chose to play Guardians of the Children to teach them about their own rights because it gives a sense of simulation on what's happening in the real world. With every event, it's based on a real world issue that is happening right now. Five refugee children have fled from their home country to our country. So the immediate action is to vote whether to accept the refugees or not. The proposed action outcome is to provide health care and safety to children. Having them simulate the event, having them react to the event, gets them to understand how complex the issue is and the limitations that they have and also the unlimited potential 
problem can come with solutions. Two, one, Kita orang nampak budak-budak tepi jalan. Ni time tu waktu bulan puasa. And dia orang minta duit kat kereta yang tengah berhenti. We saw how students were affected by these events after being aware that people their age did not have the same rights as they have. Sailors children, give us a chance. You can do so much for our identity. Please give us another glance. Please show us your pity. It's been a really fun three days with all of you, getting to know all of you. Can, can, can we help, uh, no, can no, we no, help no, the no, private no, 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 they had action? Okay, let's just say a race of hands of like, think that the game is very stressful. I'll give two hands. See, whoever that has already bought the land, do not rebuy the land, okay? Because the land is already taken. So we, we all have potential. We all can be future leaders. I hope all of you will show your potential more. And then bring all you learn here to your school. Thank you, thank you. Not only at school, maybe you can share to your family. Okay, why? Because what we learn today is actually what are the world leaders right now facing? The challenges, the stress. I would like to see more adults listen to children. They are the best people to empathize with other children. And we should give them an opportunity uh, to voice out their opinion as well. I am a child with a voice and I can make a change. I can make a change. And I can make a change. Thank you, Dr. Rashid, and thank you, Dr. Haja Rosia, for those encouraging words. You also got to see a short documentary video of a GSET program that was called Guardians of the Children. It's a program where students had to play a leadership role in a make-believe country. Their goal was to learn how to make policies and how to make decisions that can help protect, educate, and save the children of their country. This three-day workshop not only got students to step into the role of a leader, but it also got students to explore current issues that are happening around the world, but they are also affecting the lives in their country. By integrating global citizenship education, students are able to build empathy, they learn how to live with others in peace and with respect, and they also know that their actions can affect others. There are many teachers out there who have explored and learned more about GSET. One example of a teacher who is so resourceful and is always so proactive in wanting to learn new things is none other than Chengu Hilmi from SMK Jelun Kedah. Chengu Hilmi is one of those who have completed a virtual GSET course organized by UNESCO FCU, which stands for Asia Pacific Center of Education for International Understanding. He was also an alumni of the Korea Malaysia Teacher Exchange Program called Comtet. So without further ado, let's hear from him. Hi, Assalamualaikum dan Salam Zahatra. Uh, saya Cik Gunur Hemi bin Abdul Muttalib, uh, Guru Sains daripada SMK Jerlung Kedah. Uh, pengalaman pertama saya terlibat dengan uh, Global Citizenship Education ni adalah apabila saya terpilih sebagai salah seorang guru Malaysia untuk program pertukaran guru Malaysia ke Korea uh, uh, pada tahun 2015. Uh, saya rasa itu satu pengalaman yang sangat baik untuk saya sebagai seorang cikgu Jadi kat situ sebenarnya GSET sangat penting Maksudnya macam mana kita boleh sediakan anak murid kita dengan uh, kemahiran-kemahiran yang diorang perlu Untuk uh, boleh memahami keperluan antara satu sama lain tu pada peringkat global okay, Menyentuh pula tentang kursus online oleh FCU uh, Sebenarnya uh, pada tahun lepas 2020 apabila kita dilanda pandemik tu Kebanyakan program-program dah ditutar kepada bentuk yang uh, bersifat online, uh, bersifat atas talian. Jadi saya mendapat satu email uh, yang mempelawa untuk kita mohon sebagai peserta khusus. 
Jadi pada masa tu saya tengok uh, tajuk kursus tu memang sangat menarik perhatian saya sebab uh, tajuk dia adalah berkaitan dengan macam mana kita nak integrasikan uh, GSET dalam kurikulum. Mungkin kita dah tengok uh, kurikulum uh, macam mana kita uh, uruskan dia tu dalam bentuk konteks Malaysia tetapi saya nak tengok juga daripada segi konteks uh, international kan. Jadi kita boleh tengok sebenarnya macam mana negara-negara lain juga menyediakan kurikulum untuk anak-anak murid dia orang kan ada yang mementingkan tentang uh, hak kesamarataan jadi uh, perkara-perkara macam tu antara benda yang kita kena uh, masukkan ataupun kita kena pertimbangkan bila kita nak create uh, kurikulum yang sesuai dengan negara masing-masing uh, sebagai contoh uh, macam mana saya integrasikan uh, GSET dalam saya punya pembelajaran ataupun PDPC bersama murid yang mana kita pernah buat satu projek kita belajar tentang topik uh, climate change ataupun perubahan iklim dunia melalui seorang tokoh ataupun seorang aktivis uh, climate change yang terkenal iaitu Greta Thunberg jadi saya gunakan tokoh tu untuk mereka pergi kaji, mereka pergi selidik apa yang Greta Thunberg ni buat dan macam mana gerakan dia tu boleh Uh, membawa orang lain uh, juga untuk sama-sama menyertai misi uh, menyelamatkan dunia tu kan dan 2020 juga saya terlibat dengan satu projek bersama Arus Academy iaitu projek uh, Voice of Covid Generation yang mana saya rasa satu projek yang sangat baik lah yang saya suka tentang Voice of Covid Generation ni adalah disebabkan uh, penggunaan modul dia tu yang saya rasa dihasilkan dengan sangat teliti Uh, dan menggunakan pengintegrasian GSEC uh, dan beberapa perkara lagi yang saya rasa sangat membantulah untuk saya dan murid saya dan yang paling penting ada unsur-unsur contoh macam kita nak tengok student's voice, suara-suara murid kan kita nak dengar apa pandangan dia orang secara tak langsung kita dedahkan dengan apa yang berlaku di luar negara dan macam mana dia boleh gunakan keadaan dia yang di sekarang kat Malaysia ni uh, untuk membantu rakan-rakan dia, dia ada uh, suara empathy kat situ jadi saya memang suka lah sebab saya rasa anak murid saya pun banyak belajar dan membuka perspektif dia orang tentang dunia kita yang lebih besar sebenarnya. Saya menyerulah sebenarnya rakan guru kat luar sana untuk sama-sama kita terlibat dalam usaha ni dalam gerakan untuk mengintegrasikan uh, kewarganegaraan global kepada anak murid kita sebab kita pun tak tahu uh, di mana satu hari nanti anak murid kita akan berada jadi kalau kita sediakan dia orang sekarang dengan kemahiran yang sepatutnya dia orang ada insya Allah akan lebih membantu dan yang paling penting sebenarnya boleh menjadikan anak-anak kita Malaysia ni adalah sama kompetitif dengan anak-anak uh, orang-orang di luar sana nanti kan okay? jadi uh, sama-sama kita berjisat as one community is working hard to overcome this crisis. This crisis has made us become stronger and resilient. All of you have been really brave and strong in weathering this crisis. Voices of the COVID generation are lessons designed in project-based approach using COVID-19 as the central theme with learning objectives aligned to four subjects within Malaysia's national curriculum and also the global citizen education. Each milestone within this project is based on the four subjects, history, geography, science, and mathematics. The lessons aim to bring out seven different voices from our children, namely hopeful voice, reflective voice, empathy voice, leader voice, innovative and creative voice, identity voice, and poetic voice. These voices are present throughout the program to help them express emotions, ideas, and reflections in regards to the global pandemic. Suara jenis COVID ni, kita ada sejarah, kita ada matematics, kita ada geografi, banyak mana you can, semua tu berkait rapat. Maknanya you boleh blend all the subjects, hanya satu topik. Topik COVID-19, topik tentang virus tapi semua subjek dia berkaitan. Ha, itu yang memang 
benda memang benda baru yang macam I pun macam okay bagus bagus sangat sangat <laughs> To the teachers, thank you for your hard work and commitments in guiding the children throughout the program. The new normal has been very demanding on the teachers, requiring them to rethink lesson plans to fit into the new formal of online learning. DOCG is designed to allow students to dive deeper into the understanding of the effects of COVID-19. So looking beyond the health risks, but also into the social impact, especially to groups in the most vulnerable situations. Uh, apa yang saya pelajari dari program DOCG adalah um, tentang RO model atau R not model. Uh, saya belajar yang model ni, dari model ni kita boleh tahu berapa bilangan orang yang dijangkiti atau yang akan dijangkiti. If you determine to learn, keep on learning. No one can stop you. DOCG comes in both online and offline delivery for students across the nation. The online version is available on the website designed as a self-learning platform, taking into consideration that one in three students do not have access to online learning. The offline version comes in the form of physical learning kits that contains booklets and project materials. Students' reflections from the program will be collected and curated to be showcased during World Children's Day. And all of these reflections can be accessed publicly and as a virtual interactive exhibition on our platform. Perasaan saya terhadap COVID-19 ni saya rasa takut dan risau. Sebab itu kita saya memang rasa oh benda tu dari China so takkan sampai Malaysia. Tapi bila dia dah sampai Malaysia, saya macam takut, takut uh, dia akan wujud di kawasan persekitaran saya dan dia akan jangkit kepada saya sendiri ataupun orang di sekeliling saya, kawan saya ke ahli keluarga saya. Saya risau akan kesihatan diri dan mereka macam tu. Pandemik yang melanda di seluruh dunia telah menimbulkan kerisauan dan kebimbangan orang ramai. Kami tahu anda terpaksa berkorban demi membanteras wabak COVID-19 ini. Perkembangan anda sepanjang pelaksanaan PKP ini amat kami hargai. We can do this together in order to stop this pandemic. Our children and young people in Malaysia have shown that they are strong and resilient and ready to cope with it and go forward. With VOCG, we hope that children can finally understand that their voice matters and that it's important to speak up and share their experiences, to share their reflections so we can help each other to overcome this pandemic because we are not alone in this. Saya rasa penting untuk kami, Majlis Seperti Saya, untuk menyampaikan separa ini kerana kami akan menjadi barisan hadapan negara, jadi suara kami juga berhak untuk didengari oleh orang-orang yang lain. Kami adalah suara generasi COVID. Kami adalah suara generasi COVID. We are the voices of COVID generation. You are just watching a short documentary on the voices of COVID Generation program. And Shiku Hilmi sharing his experience running that program with his students. Voices of COVID Generation or VOCG was developed under the framework of GSET that was launched in 2020 involving selected schools and teachers. The aim of the project was to get students to understand COVID-19 pandemic through four subjects, history, geography, mathematics, and science. This project allowed students to understand further about COVID-19 academically, but it also allows them to express themselves and share their voices on how COVID-19 impacted their everyday lives. Because this program happened during the pandemic, the teachers learn how to implement the delivery of the program remotely. The students who have online access, they can do it on the VOCG website. But for those students who do not have the access to online learning, they were given a physical learning kit, which has all the materials they need to complete the program. 
So if you want to know more about this program, do check out the link arus.cc slash BOCGS. If you're interested to learn more about GSET, do register your interest at the link in the chat. By registering through this link, you are also eligible for one hour of SPL KPM. Coming up, we will hear and watch GSET in action from three teachers who have integrated GSET in their own ways. So let's hear from them. Hi, Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Nama saya Cikgu Nur Awedah binti Rahmat. Saya merupakan guru pendidikan khas di Sekolah Menengah Pendidikan Khas Wokasional Momo. Pada tahun lepas, sekolah saya telah menyertai projek suara generasi COVID. Seramai 10 orang murid berkumpulan khas di sekolah saya yang melibatkan dua pelajar perempuan dan lapan orang pelajar lelaki telah menyertai projek ini dengan jaya. Mereka merupakan pelajar masalah kategori pembelajaran yang mengikuti khusus aliran vocational di sekolah saya. Harapan awal saya semasa menyertai projek ini adalah untuk mendekatkan murid-murid saya dengan isu-isu yang melanda negara seperti wabak COVID-19. Antara faedah dan manfaat yang telah diperoleh oleh murid perempuan khas dalam projek ini adalah mereka dapat mempelajari dengan lebih mendalam tentang wabak COVID-19, sejarah dan apa itu COVID-19. Misalnya, mereka juga dapat mempelajari bagaimana isu wabak COVID-19 dapat diaplikasikan dalam pelbagai mata pelajaran seperti matematik, sains dan juga geografi. Antara pengalaman murid saya yang tidak mungkin saya lupakan ialah mereka berasa gembira bagaimana mereka menghasilkan simulasi wabak COVID-19 melalui aktiviti berkumpulan yang melibatkan bahan-bahan seperti bola, kertas, gam dan sebagainya. Dengan menggunakan bola, mereka dapat memahami bagaimana wabak COVID-19 itu merebak di antara satu sama lain. Selain daripada itu, misalnya aktiviti meniup bilik dengan menggunakan mask yang dihasilkan sendiri oleh murid saya telah uh, memberi pengetahuan kepada murid saya di mana tidak semua mas sesuai digunakan untuk melindungi diri kita daripada wabak COVID-19. Projek suara generasi COVID ini telah melibatkan pelbagai elemen seperti pemikiran kreatif, nilai moni dan juga komunikasi. Harapan saya untuk guru-guru di luar sana semoga lebih banyak lagi guru dan murid-murid yang berpeluang dan dapat mengikuti program-program GCED ini agar ia dapat memberi manfaat yang lebih baik dan berguna untuk generasi di masa akan datang. Ayo sama-sama kita sertai projek-projek GCED di masa akan datang. Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam ceria semua. Nama saya Cikgu Sumazana Ali, mengajar mata pelajaran sains di sekolah SMK Seri Pantai, Kuala Lumpur. Pengalaman uh, belajar sains di Kaifan dengan bahasa Cili sangat menyeronokkan sebab dari situ kita dah boleh belajar mengenai dengan bentuk muka bumi bagaimana dan apakah yang berlaku pada kasih Cili dahulu dan sekarang. Kalau tidak, saya sendiri pun tidak tahu sejarah kasih Cili di mana yang juga dikaitkan dengan negara. Cili tak tahu kenapa nak bila kita dah buat kajian dan dibantu oleh uh, Puan Azina yang sangat optimis dan sangat membantu. Alhamdulillah, saya dan juga para pelajar dapat menjalankan projek Tasik Cili dengan baik sekali dengan pelajar. Pihak yang datang ke sini, mereka melihat macam mana pelajar itu sendiri dapat menjalankan projek, dapat membina modu, dapat membina struktur Tasik Cili dengan sangat baik serta mereka lebih tahu sejarah Tasik Cili dan juga Tasik Cili dikaitkan dengan UNESCO. Hmm. Jadi apa kes sekarang untuk Tasik Cili? Adakah masih berikiraf oleh UNESCO? Ha, itu yang menjadi tanda tanya juga dan kami pelajar dari situ juga bersama para pelajar untuk lebih kreatif bagaimana pelajar itu membina modul okay, membina modul yang lebih menarik ha, untuk dipaparkan kepada orang luar sana kita nak maklumkan kepada orang luar sana apakah yang berlaku pada 
kasih cinta dan apa tak peranan kita sebagai rakyat Malaysia untuk memberi sumbangan kepada kasih cinta dan juga buat fikiran bagaimana kasih cinta boleh diselamatkan dan masih diiktiraf UNESCO dan juga menjadi salah satu pusat pelancongan di Malaysia. Baiklah harapan semua, harapan cinta semua kepada guru-guru di Malaysia yang baru ataupun uh, tengah dan juga nak menuju uh, pembelajaran jisat teruskan optimis, teruskan positif untuk belajar dan juga menyampaikan kepada orang luar di sana apakah sebenarnya kita uh, hasil kajian kita dan juga apakah yang sebenarnya kita ingin sampaikan kepada orang luar di sana sebenarnya pembelajaran ini adalah lebih menarik dan juga kita kaitkan dengan pembelajaran uh, atau pembelajaran yang kita ajar dengan keadaan atau persituasi yang sebenar-benarnya berlaku di Malaysia terutama ini. Jadi, kita di situ kita dapat tahu peranan kita sebagai guru sebenarnya kita bukan bertumpu kepada pelajaran sahaja malah kita lebih meluas. Semoga guru-guru gembira untuk belajar, untuk ekspor, untuk menjelajah lagi berkenaan dengan Jesus. Selamat berjaya! Saya Hairun Nisa bin Muhammad dan saya mengajar subjek Bahasa Inggeris. Kontak merupakan program pertukaran guru dua hala di mana guru Malaysia akan ke Korea Selatan dan guru Korea Selatan akan datang ke Malaysia. Saya telah memohon untuk minta ikutkan itu dan saya merupakan salah seorang daripada 10 orang guru yang telah terpilih untuk minta ikutkan itu pada tahun 2019. Saya mendapat banyak pengajaran daripada program Kompet uh, Terutama sekali dari segi perancangan PGPC uh, Kalau dulu saya mungkin agak tekankan mengenai kepentingan menghabiskan syllabus Tapi selepas daripada menyertai program itu saya sedar yang sebagai seorang guru, saya sepatutnya fokus kepada klien saya iaitu pelajar. Apa yang mereka pelajari hari ini dan adakah ianya akan bawa impak kepada kehidupan mereka. Jadi semasa saya rancang uh, PDPC saya, saya sentiasa fikir mengenai kepentingan pengajaran saya kepada pelajar. Apabila saya bercakap mengenai isu terkini GCED, sebagai contoh mengenai climate emergency, saya boleh nampak pelajar ini berminat dan mereka ada banyak soalan. Kenapa climate emergency dan bukan climate change? Um, jadi bila pelajar kerap bertanya, itu menunjukkan pelajar dah mula berfikir. Bila mereka uh, bertanya yang perlu perlu from soalan, bagi saya itu dah menunjukkan proses pengajaran dan pengajaran itu menuju ke jalan yang berlaku. Jisi ini sangatlah penting, bukan sahaja bagi pelajar tapi juga untuk guru-guru sebab ada banyak manfaatnya. Harapan saya ialah supaya guru-guru masukkan elemen Jisi ini di dalam PDPC uh, dan beri sedikit ruang dan kepercayaan bahawa pelajar kita ini cukup matang dan tiba masanya untuk kita ada this important conversation dengan pelajar kita. Saya seorang matang negara global. You had a listen to three different teachers who have tried GSET in their classrooms with different approaches. Cikgu Rawaida, who helped her special needs students to understand the current pandemic through explorations and interactive activities in multiple subjects in the OCG. Cikgu Suma delivered her science lessons through a local issue using Tasik Chini as a central theme. Cikgu Kaironisa saw the impact of using GSET in the classroom through her students exhibiting inquiry-based learning. So, if you're interested and curious about implementing GSET in your own classrooms, please send us a reaction in the, in the chat room and register your interest in the link below. More projects will be uploaded in the coming weeks at arus.cc slash GSET project. And teacher resources will be made available very soon. So if you're a teacher, you can learn how to design your own GSET project or integrate GSET elements into your everyday lessons. 
Our final guest for today is Ms. Azlina Kamal. She is the UNICEF Malaysia's Education Specialist and will share with you why you should embrace GSET in your own classrooms. Hi everyone, I'm Azlina Kamal, Education Specialist, UNICEF Malaysia. Just wanted to share that UNICEF with our partner Arus have been collaborating very closely with the Ministry of Education on GSET in the curriculum from as far back as 2017. You can read up on all the um, activities and initiatives we've worked on together on the Lima under GSET in action. But most importantly, I wanted to highlight the alignment of the national curriculum to the GSET framework with expert guidance from teachers, subject matters, and key ministry officials from various divisions under the leadership of the Director General of Education. We have been very careful to make sure that there will not be an extra component or an add-on to what you're already doing, but to complement and have it embedded within the curriculum to enrich the learning experience of our students. With the uh, closure of schools during COVID, we released the GSET lessons on the Lima. And with the launch today, we hope that you will be as excited as we are to explore and try out these powerful lessons with your students. Just in case you need further convincing as to why you should embrace GSET, um, I will give you three reasons. First of all, it is a tool for forging peace. Young people are their own best advocates and GSET provides them with the understanding, the skills, the values needed to cooperate in resolving the interconnected challenges of the 21st century. It can help them to express, to innovate, exercise agency and take a more active role in understanding and changing themselves, their communities and ultimately the world now and of the future. Secondly, we want to raise globally knowledgeable learners because we want, uh, we know that global citizens have a broader understanding of global events and they are able to form well-rounded opinions based on a wide breadth of knowledge. And we want this for all our children. Last but not least, GSET helps to develop empathetic individuals to cultivate empathy and understanding in our children and to have respect for other cultures and other perspectives. So join us in this GSEP revolution. Happy exploring Chindu and thank you for all that you do for our children. Bye. Thank you for that wonderful sharing, Azlina. I absolutely agree with her and I would like to reiterate what she said. The GSEP aims to enrich the learning experience for students so that they may find meaning and relevance in the subjects that they are currently learning. And with that, we hope that they could become global citizens that are equipped with the skills needed to face challenges in the 21st century. Well, that is all that we have for you today in this cozy launch. This GSET launch is the first of many sessions that will be coming up in the next few weeks. We will have GSET seminars, we will have teacher training and many more opportunities to prepare you as a global citizenship educator. If you have any inquiries, uh, any questions for us, and you're curious to know more about GSET, you can contact us at this gset.moemalaysia at gmail.com. And before we go, like I said before, we have a special giveaway for teachers who are tuning in. We have a few Voices of COVID Generation goodies to give away through a lucky draw from the registration form. So make sure you register. citizenship at Delima, and we look forward to seeing you again in the upcoming GSET updates. See you soon!